What's going on, YouTube? Big Country coming at you one more again. Got my wife with me. As usual, y'all. Huh? We doing this thing, ain't we? Ooh, I'll give you a little. We with the Bojangles, Bojangles, what do you want to call it? And we got the uh the chicken and dirty rice bowl. We going we, and we got we got an extra biscuit. It didn't come with it. It just comes up the, the the what's on the bowl, the rice, the beans, and the chicken. We turned it into a combo and got a drink and mashed potatoes and gravy or you whatever. I, I could have got fries or whatever. And we got them on the side. We about to try this out. I'm about to. As y'all were told, we did our own little version of it. So we said we're gonna try and see which. Which one is better? Which one's better? Let me get a piece of chicken too. All right. Mm -hmm. They don't have bad flavor, the beans don't. Interesting. It is. I like the orange better. Exactly! I was going to say it and I said no. Um, Angie made um, it. Of course, Angie's going to say it because Angie made it. But actually, y'all, ours tastes better. So far, so I, I, let, me get a, let, me, let me try another one. The flavor in ours was better. It really was, y'all. They didn't use black beans in this. They used... Well, I had thought they did. Mm-hmm. That's why I used black beans in ours. The country, you did put some honey on and hot stuff in ours, didn't you? I was about to do that. <laughs> Bland. It's good, but it like he, I was about to say the same word. It's good, but it's bland. Clear it hours. It really was. Try the biscuit. Biscuit is good, always. Mm. Always good. Mm -hmm. Good on sweet tea. I know I've been doing Hunger Man today, but I was talking to a good friend of mine and we decided to do something different. He wanted me to, to do it with him so to keep him uh, motivated and it might keep me motivated for him to do it with me. So y'all stay tuned for that. I need more chicken in it for me. Mm -hmm. This chicken is good, but hard chicken tenders are better. That biscuit, mm, that biscuit's good. Mm -hmm. I gotta eat two or three more of them. Cause it's so short. Look at that spice. Mm -hmm. That yellow bird tastes better. The hot sauce is hotter. They say they use their regular dirty rice, but their dirty rice tastes different from that. Mm -hmm. Their dirty rice is uh, usually spicier, especially the one up, I don't know, but up here, the one in Orangeburg. But that, that rice is different. I didn't buy nothing else to drink. This is pretty good, y'all. Pretty tight.
you know, with everything, I'll give it a two thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up, yeah. As far as, ooh, I need to go get that from Bojangles? No. No. Now, I'll hey, tell you what I would do. Let me make it at home again. Mine? Yes. I would buy the ingredients separate from them and mix it together. I think, I think that would taste better. Like you said, that dirty rice is better than that. Unless they'd be like pig wig and have a good cook and a bad cook. I say they give you one nice chicken turner. Mm-hmm. They could have put a little bit less beans in it. Uh-huh. For me, my mm. taste. But um the beans it's good. Is overwhelming. It's good, yeah, kind of. Not overwhelming, but overbearing. It's still, that's why you can't taste the, bit, the rice because of the beans. Probably so. Give them a uh, eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. Now you said it was they were polite. I mean a nine out of ten. And they um kind of yeah. quick. Yeah, I mean. Didn't feel like they're trying to rush you. Yeah. Oh, they good. Oh, we didn't see that on the sign. We ain't gonna tell you why, but we w went to another place to try to get something we saw, but they don't have it at that that one. So we might end up doing that one. Oh, we gonna time. wind up doing that one too. Uh, so we. I gotta talk over Miss Angie, Miss Country. Let's see. They're still taking the boat to the dealership to let them work on it. Working on it ourselves. Very pinto beanie. Very pinto beanie. Very. <laughs> very, very. Mm, I gotta stop giving me something else to drink. I'm gonna go into the Dollar Tree over here in a minute. Mm. And order me a battery. Well, let me say this. I went outside and I made sure both the batteries were charged up. Made sure that the switch was switched on. Plugged up the, uh, well, I plugged up the trolling motor first. I then plugged, cut it, uh, the switch on. I got a cut off switch. Keep the power from going out. Uh, like that, the batteries shouldn't have went dead overnight. I don't think so. But it did. It must be. I don't think it's holding the charge. I don't think neither one of them is holding the charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two batteries out and replace them with new batteries. Because I hooked it to the truck. Didn't have the truck cranked up to help give you because when your truck's running it's at the battery's at the top of its peak. It's supposed to be. Let me say it ain't no good. That's almost a brand new battery like a year old. Might be two years old. But anyway, oh, that's about a year old. I hooked a 112, it's a 24 volt trolling motor. I hooked a 12 volt battery to it and hit the little thing and the thing comes on and the little propeller started spinning. I said, oh my word. So I'm thinking I was going to need some new batteries. Well, at least you checked it instead of I, oh, I was about that close to have a hammer fit. So I just spent a bunch of money replacing parts in the the, the foot control. I replaced the little the little dial that turns it up from 
five speed to one speed because it got five different speeds on it. One to five. <sighs> replace that, replace the knob, or replace the, the little thing in there that the hooks to the knob, the, the electronic part of it, or the, 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 for the, 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 the button you mash with your toes, your foot, to uh, make the propeller turn on. Replace that, but not the actual switch itself, but the electronics in it. And there was something else. I, I replaced a bunch of all the little electronics in there. My, I figured it was the battery or something. Mm -hmm. Connection. My next thing to do is uh replace the wiring to the to the uh all the little connectors in there. Cause some of them are corroded, but I'm a oh that's a lot of tedious work, crimping and snipping and getting it right. Oh my belly, y'all. Oh that thing right. I got a, I'm gonna throw me something else to drink. And then, I got two batteries, two, I'm gonna get two 12 volt batteries and, and wire them up at, for a 24 volt. So the way you wire it up, you have two batteries for a 12 volt or two batteries that's a 24 volt. Or you can just buy one big 24 volt battery. I haven't looked into them yet. Huh. Anyway, um, I got to get another 12 volt battery for the accessories, like the uh, the 12 volt, like if I want to plug in like a power out, a power plant, or what most people call the cigarette lighter. That ain't a cigarette lighter. Uh, the hook up to like a uh, spotlight. Um, when I got a spot, it tells me how many volts the batteries it got in it, and then how many, uh, how much, uh, I mean, the uh, place to plug in for my, my, my phone, I got, got two spots, uh, a 2.5 and a 2.0 plug in, I think that's what it is, plug in for the, um, where's your thing go? Back there. Oh, I'm sorry. And then, uh, I'm trying to think what else. I know I'm getting a little, little chatty. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, yeah, and I got to get a, uh, a, a, a cranking battery, a starter battery. Start to crank up them. So I gotta go buy four brand new batteries. That ain't cheap. Of course, I'm not spending five hundred or six hundred dollars on a battery. Each battery. Mm -mm. That ain't happening. My, my trolling motor batteries are in the front, and one in the compartment. The way y'all y'all seen it. I did that so the weight, some of the weight, be in the front of the boat. I still have two batteries in the back of the boat and the fuel in the back of the boat. And um, we took it, like say we took it out the other day and we, we are happy with how the boat sits. Yes, I'm happy. I, I, I stand up, be able around. Stand up Miss Angie would be able to stand up and not get scared. She's gonna I didn't move water. around because we had the kids with us, but I was able to stand up and, and change the seat. Alright y'all, we want to thank y'all for watching. Hit that like, that share, that subscribe, hit that bell notification. Keep you updated on all videos when we post them when we go live. We go live almost every Saturday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, East Coast U.S. Time. Alright, with that being said, if you're not subscribed, you like the content, please consider subscribing. Hit that uh, bell notification. It helps with the algorithm. Watch the, the um, what I call commercials, the... Uh, Ads. Ads. Uh, that helps with uh, us getting paid. We do. We are monetized. So every little bit, y'all 
do to help us is greatly appreciated. Um, I know they're aggravating sometimes. I, sometimes I don't like watching the uh, ads, but I do sometimes on certain channels. I know I'm mindful of it now. Yeah, yeah me too. This person, yep, me especially too. if they're little. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be so quick to yep. press the skip. <laughs> yeah. All right. With all that being said, until next time, as always, keep it fresh. <laughs>